going to the winery that teach the vineyard winery. A French couple settled the winery okay. and they actually came over from Champagne, France, settled the winery, planted the grapes, started making a sparkling wine back in the early 1980s. So real, a lot of history, a lot of tradition with that. Uh, the original winemaker was David, his son is, is the current winemaker, Eric. Mm -hmm. So again, a lot of history, a lot of tradition with that. Really well known for Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays here on the property. We grow everything here on the property that we make. Okay. Um, so this one, the estate flight, is going to be a good representation of all the still wines we make. So you get a Chardonnay, a couple of Pinot Noirs, and this big, bold, red Quattro blend that comes from our sister vineyard. The cute story is, is that back in the day, there was a second ownership, had two daughters, one named Leticia, one daughter named Nadia. We heard about Leticia. Right? Yeah. So Nadia got uh -huh. to keep her vineyard. It's in the Santa Barbara, San Inez area. So we get to grow on that and bring the grapes back here and make the wine. And then lastly, if you're into Pinot Noirs, that's the red Pinot Noir, there's a black label tasting that uh, is quite delicious. Small batch wines, all about five or six barrels each. Um, we'll go around every year and pick the best block with the best producing grapes and make about eight or ten of them. So they're usually exclusive just to the club members, but we like to share. So we have a menu here for you if you want to try them. About the winery. How long has this been established? It's been here since 1982. 1982? Yeah. 
It was, a, it was the first and oldest sparkling house mm -hmm. uh, in California, from what I understand. Okay. And they're well known for, you said, the sparkling wine? We're well? really well known for sparkling wine, and we're really well known for Pinot Noir. <laughs> Pinot Noir? Uh, okay. The original French couple brought a lot of Pinot Noir to the property right. that they planted to make sparkling wine, but you can also make red wine with it. Right. So we make some red wine Pinot Noirs now with it. Fantastic stuff. So this is our Cuvée M. This is one of my favorites. It's just for fun just to get you guys started on a little bit. Is that is that champagne? No. This is a sparkling wine, but it's a champagne. It's identical to champagne, we just don't call it champagne. Uh, let's see. So this one, 50-50 Chardonnay Pinot Noir. Little extra yeast in this one, so you get a nice crackery, toasty kind of thing going on in here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you will get a nice uh, bright kind of look. Granny Smith apple and a little hint of a mm -hmm. Very nice stuff. Okay, so we're here at the winery, Leticia Winery. We have some good condiments, wines. It's our first time here, and we love it so far. Let's try the Pinot Noir, see how it's going. Okay. okay. Yes. What's the wheat and sour? Smooth. 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 Smooth like a snail. Smooth like a snail. Yeah, right. Yeah. Get a nice kind of uh, rhubarb kind of acidity in there, I think. And then you're going to get these little hints of this kind of mushroom kind of earthiness, almost like a savory kind of earthiness to it. <laughs> really quite good. You're welcome. You guys enjoy really good Thank stuff. Thank you. All right. Let's see. It's almost the same taste like the first one. I want to play it together. Yeah, it's almost similar. Mom, mm -hmm. what do you have? But the first one is more smooth. Mom, what is yours? Mom, what is this? Grapefruit. Sweet and smooth. Really cute. Yeah, she's got it to wine. Special taste right here. So I'm gonna try the red wine, Pinot Noir. It's, he said it, Jim said it's the third one, it's one of a kind. So all these wines, the red, white, they're all made here, okay? And really well, usually about after 20 years, you're supposed to tear them out and replant, but they've been doing so well that uh, we just keep making the wine out of it. I get nice hints of like a raspberry and pomegranate aromas. What kind of I get a little kind of, uh, Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. Yeah. yeah. I get a little bit of a, almost like a cooked cherry or a it's cherry a marmalade kind of flavor in this one. Wow. Yeah, very special. Um, <laughs> we only usually make maybe three or four barrels of this a year, so it's very special to have it. Really need to open it and share it with you guys. Oh, this is good. Yeah. yeah. I like it. So Enjoy. You only make three or four barrels a year? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that last one was maybe five or six barrels. So it all depends. I mean, you know, every year is a little bit different. But these grapes make great red Pinot Noir, and actually some of those grapes actually go into the sparkling wine as well. So really delicious stuff. Wow. Oh, Mom, look at her. She's drinking the Itzy, the grapefruit sparkling. Sweet, sweet, smooth, smooth. Very good. She likes the taste. Okay, cheers, Mother. Happy wine, my palm cheers. Okay, there. Yay, cheers. cheers. Back in the day, the second ownership had two daughters, one named Leticia, one daughter named Nadia. So Nadia's Vineyards in the Santa Barbara, San Inez area, uh, off of the 166 near the Ojai area. Um, hotter days, cooler nights, so that's where we can grow the bigger boulder bread uh, grapes for this particular wine. We have Cabernet, uh, Petit Syrah, Grenache, and Tempranillo. Uh, Tempranillo is a Spanish style grape. It also kind of adds some spice to the wine and a little bit of fruitiness to the wine. And what you get out of this is this nice, big, bold, juicy kind of red wine. Uh, nice hints of peppercorn and berries, little cedar, little floral notes. Just a nice wine. I think it's excellent in the glass. It tastes really good, but I think when you put a little bit of food, it really shines. So steak, pasta, artichokes, things along those lines, just fantastic. So it goes along with that. even the um, uh, beef too? Of course, yeah. yeah. Yeah, any kind of red meats, definitely. Uh, some pasta dishes. We had some spaghetti bolognese, like a tomato and meat sauce, mm -hmm. with a bottle of this a couple, three weeks ago at the house. Fantastic stuff. Delicious. Oh, yeah, it was really good. Well. All right, you guys enjoy it. Thank you, Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. It's good with spaghetti. 
ลอดจังเลยเดี๋ยวจะไปที่ next week and then we're gonna buy one of those wine Look, look at that, right? See when it's going to start to grow. All of it, you can go down. You see if you go look all the way down, that's all the uh, grapes. The red wine, now it's going to grow into grapes. Purple grapes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.